Pan-Africanists from different parts of Africa have today Thursday convened to discuss how African countries can create a borderless Africa. Participants came from different countries, including Kenya, Uganda, among others. Speaking during the opening of the two-day convening of the Borderless Africa, Ministry of Youth, Sport and Arts, Permanent Secretary in Charge of Arts, Fumba Chama, has called for the adoption of Swahili as the official language for all African countries. What language that we teach that this crowd is speaking? Most of our people speak English, not because it's the nicest language, because the people that own this language are given this economic power. Most of the people that own this language are given the social and cultural power. The suggestions that we have brought about in that particular conversation was to adopt Swahili as a language of Africa, which is a brilliant suggestion. I ask us as, as, as champions of uh, unity, can we start calling for opportunities that are in Swahili? What should it mean for somebody to speak Swahili? How many educational or academic opportunities are there for people that do not speak Swahili? Speaking at the same event, African Raising Movement Coordinator Hanchi Yakubu has emphasized the need to have visa free movement, one currency, and one passport. In Egypt, there are seven pyramids that attract tourists from all over the world to visit Egypt. In Sudan, we have 364 pyramids that are unknown to the Sudanese people themselves, leave alone the African people. So what happened? Because of greediness, sufficiency, two general desiring to control the country. And unfortunately, 34 million people are now displaced and homeless, including the own son. It's a very painful situation when you feel, when you're leaving or your vacation or time comes and you can't go back home because there is no home to go home. Mangin Zombola, 